Last week, Hunter Biden further revealed the degree of his arrogance and entitlement. But when his press stunt at the Oversight Committee fell flat, reality seems to have set in. By the end of the week, Hunter Biden's lawyer had notified Chairman Comer and Jordan that he was ready to admit defeat after defying two lawfully issued subpoenas. As negotiations to arrange the date and time of his deposition continue, a few things should be made clear. House Republicans will continue to hold Hunter Biden's feet to the fire until we have his testimony. We have zero tolerance for his antics. He is a material witness in our inquiry. And sitting down in a formal deposition setting where all of our questions can be asked and answered is an important step in the fact-finding process. Don't just take my word for it. You'll recall that Democrats were adamant about the need for closed-door depositions prior to open hearings last Congress. If Hunter Biden tries to delay or pull another PR stunt, we can and will move forward with holding him in contempt. The fact of the matter is, this is about one thing only, and that is providing the American people with the transparency and accountability they deserve. We know Joe Biden has lied to the American people about his involvement in his son's business dealings over and over again. And it is very likely that he benefited from his family's corrupt business dealings as well. When we begin, began this process, we promised to follow the facts wherever they lead. If Hunter Biden has nothing to hide, he will work with us to ensure the deposition happens swiftly. If he does go back in his word to appear for a closed door deposition, the full house will vote to remind him that no one, not even the president's son, is above the law. I'll turn it over now to our speaker, Mike Johnson.